a Geiger Muller tube will still occasionally click, even when there's no radioactive source present. So remember, a Geiger Muller tube is a type of detector used to detect ionizing radiation. When no source is present, we still measure infrequent clicks. It would be normal to detect, say, a count rate of two counts per second. This is because it's detecting the background radiation present. Background radiation is the small amount of radiation always present around us due to things like the radioactive isotopes found in rocks or the man-made radiation generated in hospitals, for example. So what effect will the background radiation have on our measurements? Well, when measuring the count rate, we need to correct our measurement using the count rate of the background radiation. So the corrected count rate is equal to the measured count rate minus the background count rate. The measured count rate is the count rate with the source present, and the background count rate is the count rate without the source present. So this equation works by eliminating the detected radioactive particles or waves due to background radiation from the measurement. So we only have the count rate detected from the source remaining. Let's have a look at an example. A student uses a Geiger-Muller tube to measure the count rate from a source of radium. When the radium is in a sealed container, the student measures a count rate of five counts per second. When the radium is brought near the Geiger-Muller tube, they measure a count rate of 58 counts per second. Calculate the corrected count rate from the radium. So for step one, we need to identify the key information in the question. The background count rate is given to be 5 counts per second. Then the measured count rate is given to be 58 counts per second. For step two, let's substitute the values into the formula to find the corrected count rate. So the corrected count rate is 58 minus 5, giving us 53 counts per second. There might also be exam questions where you aren't directly asked to find the corrected count rate. For example, you might be asked to use the half-life to predict the activity after a time period. It's a common cause of error for students to forget to use the information given about the background radiation. There might also be exam questions where you aren't directly asked to find the corrected count rate. For example, you might be asked to use the half-life to predict the activity after a time period. It's a common cause of error for students to forget to use the information given about the background radiation. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!